hi guys hi guys welcome back to the channel so i said i was going to ask you hi guys or what's up people which one do you think is better to be greeting you you know my sport family which one do you think is better to use to you know welcome you back to every video so tell me in the comments which one you think is better hi guys or what's up people does it matter i think it matters so share with me in the comments which one you think i should use anytime i come on live i come on here you see my new video you know the that greeting you know that this is the greeting we hear share with me the one you think is better so today i will just share with you you know the last few weeks in canada and um you know there were some feelings i had that i had to get out of that i felt that it's also possible you've experienced that feeling so let's get to this guys <music> Welcome back to the channel guys welcome back my name is christy and this is christy sports on this channel what we do is motivate ourselves support ourselves to live our best lives in god and i also share with you our license as catch one canada if any of this is something you might be interested in you know be motivated to live your best life in god or you want to learn about our license as catch one canada then you want to click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification so you don't miss any of my videos and really this year 2022 I can assure you, you don't want to miss any of the videos that will be released on this channel. And if you are a returning subscriber, the kind love that I have for you, you don't even know it. You don't even understand how much the, the depth and the, it's only Jesus that can love us with all this depth. And, uh, Madam Christiana, please don't try to put too much salt in this thing. But the fact is, I love you guys. Thank you for all the feedback you have given me on this channel. In fact, all the questions you have asked me is just showing me that the videos I'm making is meeting somebody's need. And I appreciate those so much. Your comments, your questions, your feedback. And I also saw some of you also came to look for me on Instagram. I'll leave my Instagram and do, you know, just somewhere around. So you might also want to follow me on Instagram. I also share there how to live your best life in God. All around this girl here is about living your best life in God. So today I said I was going to share with you, you know, some of the feelings I had when we got here. And um, at some point I had to get out of those feelings because... Why would I want to get out of those feelings? Because those feelings were feelings of, um, I, I think I'll call them anxiety. And I'll start by saying that, you know, that sometimes we have some prayer points and we are like, ah, God, if you just do this one for me like this, if God would just do this thing for me like this in my life, in my life, I'll not ask him anything again. <laughs> but of course, something inside, inside of you will be telling you that, ah, uh, uh, this lie you are telling to God is too big. It's too big a lie. Even the devil will not tell God this kind of lie. That once he does this one, you will not ask him anything again. Uh, 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 uh. You know God is the one that knows our inside, even as he's looking at us from the outside. So that sometimes you actually um, say some prayers. I, I know that it's even possible that you make a vow. Like if God can just do this thing, this is what I'll do. I'll, I'll rababa. I'll roll on the floor in the front of the shush. I will do, I'll give hams. I will... There are some prayer points like that that we feel like like they are major breakthrough. That once you have those things, like we don't need any other thing. We don't need prayer points again. And I'll not say I was at that point when we were, you know, processing our, you know, traveling. I was not at that point where I felt like Canada was like, uh, I knew Canada was like, um, coming to, relocating to Canada was like a big prayer point that if God answers, I'll be, you know, very excited and all that. But I was not at that point where I felt if God answers that Canada prayer, then I don't need to pray again. But of course, you know, based on um, most of the things we aired before we left, there's a small part of my mind that felt like I want to just get into Canada like this. All your problems have been solved. No more issue. Everything is balanced. No more, you know, worry. Because the government will take care of you. No more what? Everything will just fall in place. I'm not um, coming on here to tell you that uh, there are like challenges, there are issues. But of course, you know that wherever you are, as long as it's the surface of the earth, there are challenges and issues. And um, when we got here, I was, I was expecting, you know, of course, like every other person. Maybe not like every other person, but I was expecting that things would just, you know, like... At the snap of a finger, pam, pam, pam. We get here in a week's time. We're already giving testimony of God a job. We get here in a week's time. In two weeks, we already say, ah, we got our car. We got here in, you know, and we're like, and I, I don't know, but somewhere in my mind, I had that kind of expectation that things would just, you know, 
quickly, 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 quickly. Fall in place, like, of course, like, two minutes in doing that will be done. Um, I had a conversation with someone that was also, you know, planning to relocate, and we were talking about faith generally, and one of the things she said was that we need faith for... We need faith to carry us through this time. You know, that time we're waiting. We're waiting for PPR and all that. And we're like, we need faith to carry us through this time. And we also need faith even when we get to Canada. So at some point, I felt like things were not moving as fast as I wanted them to. And um, I became anxious. I became worried. And if you have, you know, if you have um, seen some of my previous, like, previous, previous videos, you know that I can be a warrior. I don't know. I, I'll, I'll have to check if there's any word like that. But I can, you know, worry about like anything. I can, I can be a warrior. I can. And once I start worrying, it changes like my mood. It changes my outlook. It changes, you know, it changes like, it changes me. And I'm, I'm like this <laughs> person you don't want to be around, basically. And thank God I'm being saved from that. But when we just came here, I was at the point where I wanted to enter, you know, into that mood of, you know, be, getting worried and um, asking why things are not happening very fast, very fast, very fast. And I also want to, I know that it's possible you are also at the point where you feel like there are some prayer points, like when you, once you have those answers, like everything, that you won't have any cause to worry again. In fact, the only thing you'll be doing for the rest of your life it should be saying, Hallelujah. <laughs> I want to tell you that as you, you know, move higher in whatever it is, as you subdue a challenge, another one is just, you know, it's like mountains. As you know, get to the top of one and you're like, wow. You are seeing another mountain top just like in front of you that you want to see. Okay, so I think I have to, you know, get to that mountain too. It's possible you have gotten to the point where you feel like you want to keep malice with God. You want to keep malice. God, you have asked him for things and he's not answering your prayers. Why should you bother yourself? And you're like, have, you've asked him for things. In fact, other people are getting these things you've been asking him for. And if you're not getting it, so why? You just felt, let me just, you know, let God stay on his own. Let me stay on my own. But something I realized during that time when I felt worried and anxious was that the kind of relationship God wants to have with us is not the kind that um, we only get chummy, we only get friendly with him, we only get to love him when he answers our prayers like at the snap of a finger. He doesn't want that kind of relationship that we, we relate with him as a maga. Do you know maga? <laughs> Do you know the people they call maga? It is only when you need something most times that I get to call them to say, Alpha. It's like I need iPhone 13 plus. <laughs> it's like I need a plot of land in Lekki phase three. <laughs> and God doesn't want that kind of relationship where we see him as a maga. That we only come to him when we need stuff. Or as a maga that when we ask him for things and he, it's not coming as fast as we want him to do that thing. Then we just, you know, what is the use of a maga? that cannot meet my need at the time when I need it. God is not a maga, and that's just on period. <laughs> God is not a maga. He wants to have a relationship with us. And I think that was what helped me out of, those, of that time, because I knew that it is not about what I want when I want it. God has a plan for every one of us. He knows what he wants to do with our lives. And um, that was one of the things... I was inspired to um, share with you in the first video of this year on this channel. One of the things that will help us not to worry, not to be anxious, anxious. <laughs> you know, English is not my mother tongue. So anyhow I speak it, please accept it like that. So one of the things that will help us not to be so anxious and not to worry a lot this year is to know what God has in mind for us. And wrong with that i've heard a lot of um people talk about um delay they are god um they, they are getting delays from god and all that this is another thing i'm inspired to share in this video we feel god delays because we are measuring him with our own time how can he delay when the scripture says a thousand years is like a day before him <laughs> 
the scripture says a thousand years is like a day before God. And you say that God is delaying. Have, have you even lived 500 years? So the reason you might think God is delaying on whatever, res- or, or whatever request you have placed before him is because you are measuring your request and his response time with your own time, with your own expectations, which may not be what, which may be different from the expectations of God. And so it will help us a whole lot in this year to rely solely like on God and know what he wants to achieve with our lives and work in that thing he wants to achieve with our lives so that we will, we will worry less. I know that it's like, for example, of course, I've, I've um, grown out of worrying. Like, I used to be a bad warrior. I'm better now. <laughs> So sometimes even if you don't want to worry, it's possible situations around you like makes you feel like, okay, why you should be worried about this? This should have happened. Why is it not happening? You've been married for how many years? There's no baby. You should be worried. You you are how old? There's no husband. There's no wife. You've been you've been searching for a job for how long? You've not gotten it. And things around you may f- make you feel like you should be worried. But one thing that will sustain your relationship with God, even in those times when you worry, is to know that he wants to have a relationship with you that is beyond giving and receiving. And really, what can you give to God? Receiving, actually, basically. (laughs) He wants to have a relationship with you that is beyond just you receiving from him. He wants you to know, know his mind for you. And when you know his mind for you, you are rest assured. You have no reason to worry. No, even Paul told us that we should not worry. We should place our request before God with gratitude, remembering. And when I, you know, anytime I read that verse, with gratitude to me, as far as I'm concerned, means with gratitude, remembering that God has blessed you in times past. So with that art of, he has blessed me, he has been gracious to me before, you are bringing requests to him. It gives you a confidence to say that God was able to do this in times past. He's also able to do whatever it is I'm bringing before him. Oh, and I'm also here to encourage you to, you know, go beyond just what you want to receive from God and get into the realm of the relationship you have with Him. You know, your relationship with Him as it gets better. Your eyes are open to why some prayer points you even prayed some years ago were not answered. Yes, there is, you, it's possible. You know, there are some things that we will not know until we get to heaven, actually. But it's possible that in your relationship with God, as you get better, as you become closer to Him, there are some requests you have placed before Him before, and you're like, oh, God did not answer this one, I will move on. It's possible that He shows you the reason He did not answer that prayer point you felt. At that time, He did not answer it, He was punishing you. So today's video eh, is just to tell you that God wants to have a relationship with you that is beyond you, receiving something from Him as if He's a mugger. <laughs> Really, God wants you to have that father-child relationship. And I will encourage you to know, work on that, build on it. Work on it, build on it. And it will help your journey this year. Like, it will help you to stress less, to worry less, to live, you know, your life in abundant joy. And that's the mind of God for us. Thank you for watching my video. And um, my (laughs) my next set of videos will most likely be on... PMP pathways to relocating to Canada. Most likely, um, I'm still sh- I'm trying to shy away from recording um, the PMP pathway um, videos because I checked and I saw that for for different provinces that are like slightly different things. Each province require if you want to relocate to the province, like if you want to come through provincial nomination. So I'm trying to run away from that because it would stretch me a bit but i think from the next video which will be coming up on wednesday i'll start that i'm starting to record and i'll you know start uploading the pmp um pathway from wednesday so stay tuned if that sounds like something you might be interested in and in case you know someone that will benefit from watching this video please click on the share button in case this video blessed you in any way at all at all there's something in this video that you liked Please click on the like button. Uh uh-uh. uh. Click on the like button. And in case you've not subscribed to my channel, with all this energy, with all these things I'm showing you, saying, so you do not click on the subscribe button. But why? Click on the subscribe button and join us, the Sport Family.
you are welcome to join the sport family you are always welcome to join us thank you for watching thank you for being here till we meet in the next video have a beautiful life bye